Here we go again. I swear it just never gets tidier. It actually is. I mean, that box there is rubbish, which is fine, because I'm just gonna fill it up with rubbish and then go through it and recycle it, because hello. There's gonna be a lot more recycling to go. I thought today we could do some more tidying. I think we'll put away some pallets and things and yeah, just try to really cut back on all the crap on the ground. And I think our recycling goes today so I can actually like chuck some in the recycling bin, get it out of this room. Let's begin. In some of the last episodes, if you missed it, we put away more makeup, skincare. This is all PR, all of the skincare that's brand new for me to try and some more body care as well. We also recently did lipsticks and things. And we do have more space and liquid lipsticks and things up here and more space again. Plenty more space actually, <laughs> but yeah. That's where we're kind of at at the moment. Oh, and we also did glitters. Where did we put glitters? Was it up here? Yes. Oh, I love this drawer. So glitters, and then I think we'll do like maybe some neutral palettes up here and then some colorful stuff down there. Or should I do colorful up here since the glitters are up here? I don't know. I think they're all gonna like blend through these next three drawers anyway. And then we've got lashes and things, which I think I'm gonna put over there. Um, I don't know where I wanna put my hair tools if I want to put them in there or if I want to put my hair tools in my wardrobe. We've got options. For now, let's just get started on some palettes. I had to buy some more dividers like I mentioned last time. And the reason that there was like a tub missing is because I filmed a TikTok choosing a random lip combination. And so what I just do sometimes is just grab one of these trays and then like shut my eyes, grab a random color and put it on. So that's why that was out. I love how I can do that with the storage. It makes for filming like random content like that so much more fun. I love it. Like with the lip liners, I can just like grab a tray and just like filter and grab it. Um, so yeah, people were saying with the lipsticks I could put in, you know, this stuff, like a draw liner and then use my old dividers. And I totally get that because it is really satisfying, but I don't know, I was ready for a change and there's just something about trays and it just being a little bit more messy and chaotic that makes me see more at once. It makes me more excited and inspired. I was just due for a change up guys. Like, And I can tell you just from me doing my makeup and filming a few things and everything, I'm enjoying this so much. So I'm so sorry for those of you who have heartbroken. I'm so sorry. But I am really, really liking this setup. This one as well, Like, I just like being able to pick stuff up you know you can't do that with my old storage unless you picked up like the entire tray but even then like you can really rummage I like rummaging it's so fun I just I don't know there's just something about it visually where I just see more things I like I'm gonna get set up for the straw now Yes, I am using the smaller scissors known to mankind to cut this. Now I'm thinking, do we divide them? Or do we just put pellets in? Or do we use the pellet little holder things. I only have one left because I use the other ones in like the highlighter drawers. These ones right here. By the way, a bunch more of the lipstick holders that look like this. You know, the ones I said where I think you can get them off Amazon or something, I couldn't remember. Yeah, I found them on Amazon and I was going to buy heaps of them and make my storage all beautiful. But the exchange rate, it was going to cost like $350 to get enough for like one drawer. <laughs> I was just like, no. Like it wasn't too bad. It wasn't looking too bad price wise until the shipping got added on and then the exchange rate. I was like, whoa. whoa. So I've just put this lining in um, so that if any of the palettes break or get dirty, it's not gonna like ruin the drawer. And I think I just bought that off Kmart, pretty sure. I think I need to like get some more liners and redo this drawer because yeah, I don't have anything underneath there. And it's just, it's kind of pointless having stuff in the containers really when it comes to palettes. So I might, get some more of that and basically replicate that in my highlighter palette drawer, blush and highlight palettes. And I think for now I'm just gonna get rid of that. Let's just see how they look when I lay them down. And to be honest, I thought I would have way more 
of this stuff. Look, I only got two and a bit out of it. I mean, I might have to use some of the containers I bought for now until I get more of the draw liners, but let's do one and see how it looks. This here is the box that we're working out of. Um, I also see there's more glitters, so I need to put those away too, but yeah, we've got lots of palettes and these so badly need to be decluttered, so I will be doing a palette declutter soon because I think that's where we got up to. Sorry, that was my chair. <laughs> I think that's where we got up to in my old room was decluttering the palettes. All right, so I think, yeah, we'll do some neutral palettes up here. Do I declutter as we go? I'm just looking up Chi Chi. Is Chi Chi still a thing? Are they still thriving? I love Chi Chi. Literally one of the most underrated brands I know. I feel like they get really put off, like people put it off because of the packaging. Yeah, it looks like they're still, um, still thriving. They've got heaps of sold out stuff, heaps of palettes. I don't think this palette in particular is still available though. I can't see it so I'll probably declutter it and give it to someone else to enjoy because genuinely it's so freaking pretty. Look at this. Look at those colors. I really want to go on and do a haul of Chi Chi makeup again. It's just nostalgic for me, this brand. Okay, I need a box where I can put all of my declutter things. I think I'll just like stack them on my desk for now and then put them in this box once we're finished because I know one of my friends will definitely like that. Oh my god. This one isn't even opened yet. The Winky Lux Latte Kitten Palette. Look how pretty that is. I don't know, I just feel like I probably don't need it though. Oh my gosh, iconic. Is Tati Beauty still a thing? I don't even know. I don't keep up. But I really liked this palette. It's so pretty. I might keep that for now because it does have really good quality nudes. I'm not sure if you can still get it, but you know, just for me to use sometimes in my own everyday. We've got a whole lot of... Colourpop nude lipsticks, which whoops, sorry, put those somewhere soon. Oh, definitely keeping this. The Sultry by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Look how stunning that packaging is too. I die. Luna Beauty. This is relatively new and as you can see, very colourful. So put that in the colourful drawer soon. Alright, I'm just gonna fast forward through. Um, you can kind of see which ones I'm keeping if they end up in the drawer. <laughs> You know what? I'm almost thinking of mixing together like colourful and neutral palettes and maybe putting like lots of these like small palettes into like tubs. I don't really know how to go about it though. Maybe like these modular organisers. Well that was a good one. I almost dropped that in the carpet. I'm trying to downsize a decent amount right now. Uh, where did I put my single eyeshadows? I think I put them in the top left side. I'll put that aside for now. I'm gonna grab another box of palettes and just declutter them so that we can figure out where to put them. Here is the next box. There's lots of random stuff in here too, but let's filter. I always said I wouldn't get rid of that, but here we are.
and that tray is all empty all right and now I need to just see if we have any other palettes laying around okay I think the only other palettes I have are all in this like tabletop desktop storage that I have so I'm just going to pop these in here as well for now I might put some back you know on my desktop at some stage but for now I'm just going to put them here oh my god a Z palette throwback all right this is a highlighter so is this we have these as well that I put up before Right, we've got to do it again if you remember comment below a what color emoji a purple emoji purple emojis down below if you remember this iconic palette and even more so if you remember the original let me know if you remember that one I love these Ofra palettes highlighting palette I'm going to take out lots of these and start fresh How dirty this liner is already. I'm gonna take my random powder eyeshadows. I don't have any, but we'll just pop these in here for now until I figure out what I want to do with them. I have some more of these toppers somewhere I need to find. Okay, anyways, I am going to move these. And with the liners, I'm going to do some of the bigger palettes. I've got more of these somewhere. I wonder where. Yeah, I can't find them. Oh my gosh. I've definitely got more. So eventually we will find them. I've got some other new palettes as well. Muted by Be Perfect. It's really pretty. It's nothing like unique though. And this Blend Away 2022 by P. Louise. The big ass palette. I've got more palettes somewhere too, because I've got all the Novena palettes and everything. Where the heck could they be? Maybe they're like in this room still somewhere. I don't know. I think that looks really nice. Cute! That's a lot of palettes, but I got rid of so many. I probably got rid of like half. So here's a better look at that drawer. Let's check that it shuts nicely. Sure does. And then up top, we've got more palettes, and then I've got more pal like room for more palettes as well. Or I might move this entire drawer down one. Um, if I want to put other stuff up here at any stage while we're unpacking makeup. But now let's just put away the rest of the glitters I found. Just love, love, love this drawer. Look how beautiful it is. It's so pretty. I have also found another box of the lipsticks that one of the boys put together when we were shifting.
Yeah, I just want to chuck my lashes in some drawers so that they're out of the way and I don't really know how to organize them. I was thinking of getting like an actual retail stand and like making them look all sick and like, you know, putting my lashes on the wall or something, hanging them, making them look all cute, but I don't really know if that's practical either. It's a really rough one. Lashes are just such a pain in the ass to organize. We've got glue. They can go in a different drawer. Glue, random brushes, random lipstick, hair curlers, more glue. Brow tin, I actually need to do this. Yay! A pencil sharpener, I've been looking for one of those. And to think before I couldn't find any lash glue. There we go, there it is. Another glue. So I'm going to take all these magnetic and foamy lashes and line those up. Sorry guys, I went a bit silent on you there because that was full on. I'm gonna get a little tray, by the way, all of this stuff in here is dried flower. Like, you know, the plant, flowers. <laughs> and I have a hand vet coming, so I'll hand vet that out once that arrives. And I'm pretty sure I have a few more sets of lashes laying around the place, so I can put them away too. But I've got all of my five piece, just standard lashes by So Beauty. Standard lashes by So Beauty, my cluster lashes. I've got foam ink, foam ink, magnetic, full volume. Oh, that's been fun. That's annoying. All those. We've got some more five piece back there. We've got Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, a random pure, a random Colourpop. Some Huda Beauty, and then some Ardell in there as well, and just a couple more pairs of lashes. I also found some glitter adhesive. Stunning. I love how they all fit standing up. And then we've still got this drawer too. 
so much room. So yeah, I'll probably put my hair tools in the one under this since we've got so much space. So those will come in very handy for the hair tools. But I will do that in the next part. The next video for this room is going to just be putting away random stuff. We will put away all of the stuff on my bench top. We will put away hair tools. We've got like another box just of random makeup and like accessories like tweezers and stuff like that. We need to clean up this whole space, put brushes away, maybe put my perfumes away because they're up there. So yeah, the next one I think we will really start to see a bit more tidiness come through because yeah, we'll just put away lots of odd ends. But yay! Pretty much, oh, why is it not shutting all the, oh, because this is ripped. By the way, lots of these are beat up because they've been shoved in a drawer and also I take a lot of seconds from work because obviously if something gets banged up in transit to New Zealand, like the boxes or something, if they get a bit squashed, I take those ones so that you guys get the nice ones when we ship them out. Oh, I love, oh, that one's not shut. Yeah, we might put some stuff in the wardrobe next time too. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is probably a nightmare for some of you guys and other ones of you are probably like really enjoying this so <laughs> I hope you're the latter I hope you are enjoying this it's hectic I know I know but we are surely getting there I'll talk to you guys next time bye <laughs>